good Saturday morning coastal band and look out at SPID. We've got some early risers this morning. If that's you, make sure to take a sweater out there and just a sweater. We're going to warm on up later in our afternoon, but this morning feeling a bit cool out there. Mid to low 50s here in Corpus Christi. We've got winds out of the south between about 5 to 10 miles an hour here in Corpus Christi as well. Dew point at 45 degrees and you'll notice that's really the trend across the coastal band area. Just a slightly bit more humid here along the coast. Port Aransas Naval Air Station in those 50s, but what this number means is it's very dry out there. We've been watching these conditions over the past couple of days ever since that cold front blew on through. Temperature is going to reflect that dryness 54 here in Corpus Christi. Check out Alice in those 40s still this morning as they head out the door. Right now winds are relatively calm between about 5 to 10 miles an hour. You'll notice we've got south winds coming out this morning for the coastal bend. These are going to start to pick on up becoming even more so from the southeast, which means more moisture on the rise from the Gulf of Mexico. We'll take a look at that here in just a bit. However, even though we're starting to see those south winds return to the coastal bend, it's not going to do much for our dry conditions. We still have dry air aloft, so even though we're going to start to see our humidity levels rise, we're definitely going to still have to watch out for these fire conditions. So we are going to have a fire weather warning go into effect at noontime today. That's going to be for your afternoon and evening hours lasting until 10 p.m. And you'll notice that is for all of the coastal bend. This is what we call a red flag warning, so definitely want to limit anything you're doing outdoors that could cause a spark. We're also having a small craft advisory go into effect this afternoon, 7 p.m. lasting until Monday at 7 a.m. That in response to the really windy conditions we're going to start to see pick up later on today, continuing over the course of our weekend. Now you'll notice that fire weather warning stretching all the way across uh, the state of Texas. I mean, excluding some parts of Houston and Dallas, but I know they're still monitoring their drought there. Really, this ongoing drought we're seeing across the state of Texas. We're all anticipating and waiting for some rain to come on through. Now you'll notice as we start to see dew point levels rise going through our weekend, starting off our work week, dew point's going to start to go into that humid range. So you're going to start to feel that as you head out the door over today and certainly tomorrow, but it's not going to do much for us because again, we've got dry air mass still moving into the coastal bend aloft, so above that layer. And so it's still making it very dry for us. Windy conditions over the next few days as well. This is not a good recipe. I mean, that's why we're going to still see those fire conditions elevated over the next few days. You'll notice Sunday winds going to be inching into that windy category. We're looking at gusts up to about 30 to 35 miles an hour Sunday into Monday. So definitely want to keep that in mind if you're doing things outdoors. Otherwise, clear skies for your day today. It's not going to be into our evening hours. We're going to start to see some clouds break through into the coastal bend area. That'll continue spotty clouds over Sunday, but waking up a bit warmer tomorrow morning in those 60s versus today. We were in those 50s. You're going to top out in those 80s tomorrow in Corpus Christi. 95 for Alice tomorrow. Going to get pretty warm for us here across the coastal bend. Otherwise, a look at your day today. Definitely want to get out and enjoy that sun if you've got any plans outdoors. This ahead of a chance at isolated showers. Tuesday into Wednesday, Lexus. Thank you, Mariah.